Hello everyone. Now in this rather battered white plain box here, I've got something pretty special guys. I'm sure you're really going to be interested in this one. Let's take a look at it. Chuck the box over there. What have we got here then guys? A reproduction British Army jackknife. Check that out. Here it is alongside my father's, my late father's original. Wow. Okay guys, let's take a closer look at it. Now doesn't this look really nice? An exact copy, a reproduction of the uh, old British Army jackknife. Let's have a look at the blade. Full flat grind with grind marks as well. Grind lines as well, that's very nice. We have the uh, nail nick on the other side, as you can see. What other tools has it got on it then? The can and a bottle opener, complete with the nail nick as well. The marlin spike. And let's not forget the screwdriver. Um, the grips are most probably uh, ABS, they won't be the same material as my late father's original, but nonetheless it's very nice a finish to them as well, they feel quite nice. Uh, my, this one has, as you can hopefully see there, nested liners, whereas my late father's original, you can see the difference there, they're not, ne they're not nested on my father's. Very nice knife. I found this on uh, Gearbest uh, and as soon as I saw it I thought yeah I'm gonna definitely have to buy one of these uh, and it's just a shame that my late father's not here to see it because as I say you know this was the uh, knife that he carried when he was in the army uh, and this is a pretty good faithful reproduction uh, of, of this original here. Um, the only thing I found with mine is the uh, marlin spike is slightly off centre there, as you can see. Not too worried about that too much though, guys. Um, unlike my father's, the screwdriver isn't broken. Uh, Gearbest have got this down as, let me have a look, um, <clears throat> 5 CR13 MOV steel. Uh, it also says it has three tools. Well, it actually has four tools because you've got the blade, marlin spike, and you've also got the uh, cannon bottle opener, but they forgot to mention the screwdriver on the front here, guys. And of course you've got the little um, lanyard here as well, a little loop here th as well. Right, then, before we go any further, let's take a look at some dimensions. Closed, you're looking at 103 millimeters. Blade length is 68 millimeters and is two millimeters thick with a 60 millimeters cutting edge. The can and bottle opener is 65 millimeters long and is 2.9 millimeters thick. The marlin spike is 73 millimeters long. The screwdriver is 9 millimeters long and has a 7.4 millimeter blade. Handle thickness 17.5 millimeter, and these are all by my own measure, guys. Let's put it on the scales. Five and three eighths of an ounce or 154 grams. Okay, so this is a very good, um, I think, reproduction of my uh, late father's uh, army knife. Um, they've even uh, got the stiffness of the um, springs more or less the same. As I remember when I was a, a youngster, I would go diving about in my dad's toolbox uh, and digging this out, and my late father would always, put that back, you'll cut yourself. But I could never, um, when I was a child, I could never open up the blade because it was just too stiff for me. Uh, this one's got the a modern type of uh, blade opening on it where it gets to about there somewhere and stops. You can see when you close it, stops there. On oh, my father's, so look, my late father's, it just goes uh, all the way. There's no stopping at all. And it is exactly the same uh, with the other tools as well. Ah, it's really stiff to open this. Is right there we go. Look, so it just stops there, as you can see, because it's got a little uh, 
the, um, the hinge side of the blades here is like flattened off and it's the same with the Marlin spike as well, it gets to halfway and stops. Um, the um, loop is a little bit longer than my late father's. The handle material feels really nice and, and the night liners on the reproduction are nested as opposed to uh, you know visible like on my late father's. But it does feel rather nice actually guys. The nice material I would imagine it's probably ABS or something. Um, it's quite nice to hold. Let's get the blade out. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice to hold actually. You know, if you wanted a uh, a reproduction, old-fashioned multi-tool uh, to carry around with you, this could be the one for you actually, guys. I say it's got a bottle and can opener going. As I say, I can't get them can't get them open still. Right, there we go. There's your bottle and can opener. We'll have a look how both of these work shortly. Um, the blade, does that feel sharp? Relatively sharp, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, it says 5CR13MOV, I think the steel is. And the Marlin spike, it's pretty sharp. It's a fairly fair chunk of stainless steel, is that. And you've got the nice little screwdriver on the end. As I say, somehow or another, I don't know whether my father broke it. But the uh, screwdriver is definitely missing from his anyway, so we'll have to give that a go as well, see what that can do. As I say, handling, you know, is quite nice. I, li I like the feel of the, uh, these little, uh, you know, the little pattern on here, it's nice sharp little pyramids on there, feels quite nice. Yeah, it's not uncomfortable at all. Very nice. What we'll have to do, I think, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll start start with uh, Bob the Bits a bag, shall we? Okay, as I always tell you guys, I don't sharpen the blades. This is as they come from Gearbest, from the factory. Uh, don't know how sharp that is, but um, we'll soon find out. Uh, we'll start by trying to knock a corner off the paper here. Let's have a look. Well, that's not too bad. That's quite surprising, actually, guys. Not bad at all, that. let's get rid of the paper over there. Okay, cardboard time. Um, yep, rips through cardboard quite nicely. I need to get myself some more cardboard. I'm going to have a look at work tomorrow. Right, and that's good. So what about some um, cheapo rope? I've got about uh, four strands of cheapo rope here. Get it in there, let's have a look. A oh, little bit of effort, but we've done it. Speaker style cable, try that. Oh, there we go, I think this is a sheep's foot style blade I think you'll find, non-stabby so it should be uh, uh, ideal for the United Kingdom. 32020 copper in the insulating sheath here, Let's try that. Yep, and don't forget this blade also uh, conforms to uh, British requirements in that it's not non-locking. And what did we say it was? 68 millimeters long, so it's well within the British requirements, guys. A big thank you to Trader Joe for sending in this uh, mule tape, or uh, mule the tape worm as I call it. Mule tape here, let's try it, because this is funny stuff. If the blade's not too sharp, it tends to slip off of it. Let's give it a go. Well, it actually cut it quite nicely. Hmm. Is it going to be any use to you guys uh, open packaging? Well, here's some uh, package strapping here. Let's have a look. Took the corner off of it nicely. Will it chop through it? Yep. All right, let's try the chopping block. And um, we'll start with some uh, cheapo rope. And as this is a, like a sheep's foot style blade, we'll have to move to the edge so we can try and cut it. Let's have a look. Yep, not too bad at all. Cool, what about um, some speaker style cable? Oh yeah, pings that up out a little bit. Uh, 3202, let's have a look. Yeah, not too bad with that stuff either. So what about the um, uh, mule tape here? You can rock it through there a little bit, but not a lot sort of um it's having a go at cutting it as you can see guys 
Right in, um, I've got a little bit of pipe left. We can try pinging that around. Oh, it's flattened it, but it's not. Oh, there it goes. Off around the room. Yeah, not too bad, I suppose. Alrighty then. So, it'd be interesting to see how long this can, uh, this material can hold a an edge. Still feels quite nice and sharp. Um, yeah, it's quite nice actually. I say it cost me. I bought purchased it from Gearbest. It cost me of a ball of about five pounds ninety seven, I believe. Obviously, with a little bit of carriage and some tracking number on there as well, so I can keep an eye on where it is. Yes, uh, I'm quite pleased to get this actually. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I had to get one, because you know it's um, you know memories and all that lot. I'll tell you what we better try, guys. Is the um, yeah still as, just as I remember, Dad's. I still can't open it. Oh, blimey. Ah. Yep, they've, they've copied this exactly how stiff the springs are. Um, I think what we're going to do is get a can up here and try the uh, can opener. Uh, Mrs Rathbone's at work so I'll have to do the bottle opening myself. Okay, so it appears we've had a go at this can with another tool in the past uh, sometime. So let's give it a go with the um, reproduction jackknife. There we go, get him in there. Can we do it? Is it sharp enough to actually do it? God blimey. You can just about do it. Yep, it's coming along. It's probably not as sharp as it could be. Uh, oh, it's folded up on my hand there. That's one of the problem with these things because they don't lock. Yeah. Unless I'm using it wrong, of course, guys, but you can just about get into the can. Yeah, I'm not doing very well at all, am I? <laughs> okay, what about bottle opening then? I've got an almost vintage style uh, can of Coke here. Let's see what the bottle opener's like. Oh yeah, piece of cake for it. Cheers, guys. Yeah, warm Coke. Not sure about warm Coke. Mm. Okay, so we've uh, moved down into the workshop to try the uh, screwdriver here. So, let's see what we can do putting screws in. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be all that good for putting uh, Phillips style screws in. I think you need a fairly large head to get it in there, but we'll give it a try. And um, we've got a, uh, a slotted head screw which will definitely work, although it's a bit battered. But we'll give it a go. So we'll make a hole just here. And we put the uh, slide screw in there, like so. Oops. <clears throat> Give it a go. See what it does. That's oh, not doing too bad at all, guys. I am finding the um, the loopy thing here getting getting in the way a little bit, but. Seems to be managing to put a screw in, all right. Well, I'd imagine it's probably for use with screws on rifles and what have you, more than uh, putting wood screws in. But you know, I suppose you could use it for uh, wood screws. It's not doing too bad a job at all, actually, guys. Right, let's try the um, Phillips head one with a new hole just there. Pop it in. This will be fun then, because I'll have to use the sort of the corner. Like so, I don't know if you can see that, guys. I'm using the corner. Oh, not doing too bad a job on it. It's not as easy as, uh, you know, it could be. Where a slotted screw, but because you can't get it in there properly. Alrighty, so there we go. And it's not doesn't appear to have damaged the uh, screwdriver blade at all. Yeah, I've got to say, I was uh, really pleased to, to be able to pick one of these up. The reproduction. It's made by um, a company called R. Charlance, and I think they call it the HSD003. Very nice little, uh, you know, reboot uh, of an old British Army jackknife. So, you know, if you wanted to carry uh, something like this around rather than the modern knife, uh, this could be the little fella for you because, as I say, the blade doesn't lock, so it conforms very nicely to. Uh, UK regulations, and you've got this modern um, 
so it doesn't slam shut on your fingers while you're closing it. Very nice marlin spike. Uh, we've seen we got the um, bottle and can opener too. So if you uh, if you were after one of these and uh, having a job finding an original, I mean you know you might be into um, reenactment and require something like this for the role, you know, for your uh, to go with your uniform. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, this is uh, perfect for that. Uh, as I say, you know, you could also it's a bit heavy, but you know, in a good way, solid, well made. Um, yeah, you could you could carry it today without having to worry about it being, you know, probably worth some money or worrying about losing it. Five ninety seven. You know, if you lost it, you could very easily purchase another one from Gearbest. And so I think it's uh, quite nicely made, and the fact that they've copied the um, strength on the uh, springs, that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing I've found is the, uh, the little loop here is a little bit longer than my late father's, but you know, not going to worry about that too much. Uh, I just wish uh, my late father was around to see this. He'd be uh, quite interested to be honest with you. Okay guys, so I purchased this very interesting multi-tool with my own money from Gearbest. Um, I'm just quite really pleased to have it actually. It's a very nice reproduction, very nice reboot. It seems to be quite well made. Um, how long the blade would keep an edge I don't know but it's that sort of um, blade that doesn't really take all that much sharpening. It's just a full flat grind, almost flat cutting edge here. And so we've got like the sheep's foot style design of the blade so it's completely non-threatening and ideal I would imagine for you know carry here in the UK. Now it is down on the gear best site as being a three in one but we know better than that guys. You have the Marlin Spike 1, 2, 3 and the little screwdriver is tool number 4. And of course you've got this uh, you know so you can hang it off of a um, um, carabiner off of your pack or whatever. I purchased mine from Gearbest and what I'll do is I will put you an affiliate link in the descriptive text down below so that you can go along and check uh, availability and price in your country. Um, you can pay a little bit of shipping on it you know so you get a tracking number which is what I always do so I can follow its progress from China to here. Um, yes yeah, I'm quite pleased with it actually as I say if you're into reenactment or you just want a, a good old fashioned um, multi-tool or knife you want to carry rather than one of these more modern uh, things then this could be what you're after. Okay guys so uh, don't forget to check it out from uh, Gearbest uh, you can purchase it via my uh, affiliate link down there and it does go to helping the channel as well guys I get a small amount of commission and it all helps the channel out thank you very much. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel remember um, click like if you enjoyed the review and you can share it with your friends because let's face it they might be interested in one of these. Uh, there's my Instagram and you'll have no doubt seen this along with my late father's knife on Instagram. Uh, there's a Google Plus. Uh, you can also help the channel via Patreon too. Thanks to everyone who's doing that already. Alright then guys, so yes, I like this little knife. Um, I can highly recommend it. As I purchased it with my own money. So, you know, it's not. it wasn't sent to me by anybody. I bought it with my own money. Just a shame that my late father's not here to see it because I'm sure he would have been very interested to see it. You know, that they're remaking them again. Wow, it's just so nice, it really is. <laughs> Memories. As I say, I used to uh, go diving into my father's toolboxes in the garage many, many years ago and he was always taking it off me, put that down, you'll cut yourself and all this lot, you know. Well, I couldn't cut myself because I could barely get the uh, blades open, so... Oh dear, memories. That's why I had to get it. Memories, guys, memories. <laughs> Alright then, well, I hope you enjoyed the review. I found it interesting. Uh, hope I managed to uh, answer some questions for you. Please let me know if you've got any memories of um, one of these things, an original. Uh, will you be purchasing one of these? Okay guys, well, I hope you'll uh, come back again, um, and I will see you back here at Rathbone Manor sometime in the near future then. Laters!